What is going on, Booming Sooners <laughs> Nation? It's your boys back here again with another banger. I am one of your co-hosts, Caleb Hall. I'm Colton Hembry. And together, with our powers combined, we <laughs> are the Booming, the Booming Sooners. Sooners. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about today, guys. Quite a bit quite a bit of good info. Yeah. Uh, a couple of rumors here and there. Yeah. And uh, just overall, some pretty juicy news. Hopefully, this camera angle doesn't look too weird. I'm still kind of I getting think you used look to good. it myself. It's very wide angle, good. so it's weird seeing, like, all of my room. Like, you guys now can see, like, my shoe hanger and stuff. <laughs> so that's a little <laughs> bit weird. But uh, Don't worry you know, about it. It, it looks good, it Caleb. Is. Trying to look a little bit more crispy, you know, on hey, YouTube. Hey, also, nice. can I point out what's that? The, the color differential we got going on? Because I got the red hat, gray shirt. You got the red shirt. That's crazy. Hat. Yeah, we actually did not plan that at all whatsoever. Dude. That's pretty cool. <laughs> speaking of the shirts, Colton. Come on. Speaking of these shirts, we're rocking the Benny, Bud, Barry, Bob, and Brent shirt from uh, GameDayRetro.com. Uh, make sure you guys check that out. Uh, pretty awesome. We also got these really cool kick-ass mugs as well. So shout out to Game Day Retro. Uh, this <sighs> is our Norman line. And uh, if you guys want to check them out, their Twitter handle is – well, I don't have their Twitter handle, but their website handle is uh, gamedayretro.com slash Norman, and that will take you to the Norman collection. Uh, and the, I'll also have the link in the description down below. If you guys want to pick up one of these shirts, you definitely can. I will say they are very comfy, mm-hmm. They're very comfy, very nice, yeah. cozy, soft shirts. And so I love the mugs. Like, I can't get Dude. enough of this mug. I think it's so cool. Everybody needs a hot cocoa mug right now. It's like 22 <laughs> degrees. Every Oki yeah. is in panic mode right now because there's a little bit of snow flurry outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what a, what a better time to pick out a coffee mug, a beer mug, uh, <laughs> a hot cocoa <laughs> mug. What a better time to get after it. Exactly. Exactly. Now. So big shout out to uh, GameDayRetro.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you guys for the free swag. Again, make sure you guys check them out. <laughs> the uh, free swag. And then also, I want to give a big shout out to uh, T Rusk Art, capital T, capital R, lowercase U S K, and then Art in all caps on Twitter. I'll have their Twitter handle and link down below as well, Colton. They actually are going to do a giveaway. He does drawings, right? Mm-hmm. So we're going to do a giveaway. Uh, we'll pick a random subscriber, and uh, you guys can actually let us know. Uh, you know, send us your Twitter handle or something like that. If you don't have a Twitter handle, gonna have to create a twitter give us that twitter <laughs> handle when you when when we announce that you win and then you guys can actually pick a drawing for him to do he does a lot of ou drawings and stuff like that mm-hmm. not only that he also does customs with like animals and stuff like that as well and the dude is super talented cool uh, so make sure y'all check that out as well but let's get into the news colton we're done yeah. with all the all, all the ad read stuff and should stuff we like start that. with the most recent breaking news that happened today Bro, you can go for it. We're probably going to catch hell for bringing it up, but let's do it. So the breaking news, the most recent piece of news that we need to go over is um, wide receiver Mario Williams committing to USC. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm not upset. Yeah, um, but what does this this mean for our um, quarterback, Caleb Williams? (laughs) So (laughs) upon further inspection, right? Mm-hmm. I know Mario was saying he wants to go wherever Caleb goes, right? But Caleb Williams' dad is apparently retweeting a bunch of different stuff from UCLA's Twitter. Really? Uh, yeah, and so it's looking like Caleb to UCLA might be possibly in the works. I don't know for sure. But if you're going off of the philosophy of you know what Mario Williams publicly stated, that he's going wherever Caleb Williams goes, and it just so happens that there was a leaked uh, leaked picture of a video that had both Mario Williams and Caleb Williams in USC gear. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and venture out, if you're sticking true to that, that uh, Caleb Williams is possibly going to be a UC, or UC, USC <laughs> Trojan. Uh, now, I will say, I- I'm not sure if it's the same for Mario Williams, but during uh, – yeah, Mario Williams. During uh, Caleb Williams' time in California when he – you know, got caught with the picture wearing the USC gear and stuff. It was confirmed that he visited UCLA as well. 
Oh, he had already visited. He he did visit during his same uh, time in in California. He there's just nothing leaked, obviously, of him there. But it it is confirmed that he did have an an official visit there with UCLA. So, yeah, and I wouldn't be upset with that at all. I think that would actually be a pretty solid landing spot for Caleb Williams. Yeah, uh, in my own yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I wouldn't be upset in the slightest for Caleb Williams to go to UCLA. Plus, it also means that you know we're going to see a Caleb versus Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, so oh yeah. I I would be pretty hyped for that. Dude, uh, that'd be so cool. So, so yeah, cool. that's kind of our that's kind of the real big like bombshell news that happened earlier this afternoon. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm really not that upset about it. I understand that Mario Williams was a highly touted recruit out of high school, but let's face it, this last season really we didn't see much production out of Mario Williams at all, at least for the Sooners. Mm -hmm. uh, so can't really be mad at a dude that we haven't seen. Right. <clears throat> and it, it does mark the Mario Williams, the move to USC. It is the first Oklahoma player to follow Lincoln Riley so far. Like that, that has been rostered at OU. I'm not talking about him poaching recruits or anything, but um, he is the first official player. And then yeah. Caleb Williams would make the second if that was to happen. Looks like we are also going to see uh, Latrell McCutcheon most likely transfer as well. Mm. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but Latrell McCutcheon had entered the transfer portal, and today he was taking his visit to uh, USC with – uh, a live video on Instagram, I think, and he was in a USC uniform and stuff. And it's right now it's pretty heavily rumored that he's probably going to go over there, which again, I don't know how you can do that. It, it's just kind of awkward when his dad was actually retweeting or I say retweeting actually tweeted out in like November 13th of this last year saying, basically he literally said F O U's defensive staff. Tang. And now all of a sudden the same defensive staff that literally went to USC is who Latrell McCutcheon is going to visit. So it's mm. kind of weird. I don't really know how that works. I don't know how that's going to, I don't know how that's going to look, but, um, well, it is what I mean, it is. if the coaching staff is, you know, got the, a good relationship with the kid and the dad just like can keep his, you know, knows out of their business. I it doesn't have to be that awkward, you know, if that yeah. does happen. But yeah, definitely. Do I, I sound know. okay? Do I sound quiet? No, you sound fine. You sound okay. Like you good. Usually do. I've got my mic a ways away from me. I didn't realize that I had it that far away, but No. Yeah, you, you sound clear on my end. <clears throat> okay, good. And then we also I don't know if you guys saw, but we gained a huge, huge, literally huge recruit. Uh, or I say recruit, transfer, <laughs> in uh, Jeffrey Johnson. Colton, you know where Jeffrey Johnson's coming from? Where's he coming from, Caleb? <laughs> He's coming from Tulane, dog. I don't want him. I don't want him. <laughs> you're, you're, you're freaking arch enemy, bro. Send Tulane. him back to Tulane. Send, Send him, him back. back to Tulane, bro. I will say, this man absolutely slaughtered our O-line. Uh, yeah. In the in the two lane game, so I am definitely glad to have him. He is listed on, uh, let's see, two twenty four seven sports dot com as six three three hundred and twelve pounds. Dude is an absolute unit, bro. Yeah, that's a tank right there, dude. In the About picture everything. that he took next to Brent Venables, dude, like he looks like Brent Venables' dad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but jeez, yeah, that is him. <laughs> He's huge, dude. Is absolutely massive. He's a unit. <laughs> and then the other guy that was standing on the opposite side was actually uh, Dylan Gabriel. Yeah, yeah. So, I saw that picture. Cool. Yeah, that's a cool picture. Uh, we also have some potential transfers that kind of look like they could be leaning our way as of right now. We have. Um, Funny enough, USC quarterback Jackson Dart. Yeah. And we got USC tight end Michael Trigg. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Let Dude. me tell you. Michael Trigg. I don't know if you've seen the video that's circulating on Twitter, right? But this man is like if Marshawn Lynch was a tight end, bro. I'm talking <laughs> like bouncing off of everyone. Like he looks like he will put Mark Andrews to shame. Seriously. Dude. It's that impressive. 
he he looks like a monster. He's six foot four, almost two hundred and fifty pounds. He was the uh, uh, the fourth highest rated tight end in his uh, class, the class of two thousand twenty one, and um, he looks insane. That would yeah. be a huge dude. It's such a huge grab after losing uh, Stogner, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. And I I do not mind having Jackson Dart. I do not mind. He he was yeah. highly touted as well, and um, he hasn't really seen any playing time. But he's he's a great pickup. If he sat a year behind Dylan Gabriel, you know, he could be he could be a dude next year. Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. It's just more depth. You know, you yeah. can never go wrong with two. You you can never have too much depth. So. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. good with that. I would be perfectly fine with that. Plus, it'd be kind of awesome to get, I would say, revenge. But to get <laughs> to pull some people from USC, considering that you know, old T. Bow is up there making moves. Right, right. <laughs> but but anyway. uh, what else do we got, Caleb? We've got uh, one thing that we didn't talk about. Jay Valai is official. Oh yeah as the defensive backs coach for the University of Oklahoma. Huge he is pickup. actually coming from Alabama. Yeah, huge pickup. Uh, Alabama's whole secondary has been solid. Yeah. I mean, oh, extremely, yeah. extremely solid under Jay Valai. So that's that's one thing that I'm super excited about. Yeah. Uh, man, our defense, guys, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for our defense. Dude. It's great. Uh, our coaching staff is like god tier right now like mvp status there between like all the coaches we have now there's like a total of eight or nine championships under all their belts the combined oh, yeah, yeah. at like wild. we we coaching staff we have a like championship unit like no school has ever seen before combined in one and it's insane but yeah jay valai huge pickup he's the uh officially the co-defensive coordinator for us as well as um uh uh, pass defense. So, yeah. yeah, I forgot about that. So that a lot of co's, a lot of a lot of co coordinators and <laughs> yeah. assistants and stuff like that, which again is also really cool. It just kind of shows you that this whole staff is really it's not just one dude out there for yeah. each position. You know, there's we've got multiple different guys that are getting in there and leaving their impressions, leaving their marks on all of these guys. So that's that's really awesome to see exactly. As well. Everyone has a say in everything, so it's not if one if one coach isn't getting the job done, you know everybody's held accountable, and that I I feel like it's a way smarter move because if everybody's held accountable, or at least more than one person's held accountable, you're more likely to see that change and something uh, happen, you know. Absolutely, definitely, that's that's so. a huge plus. I feel like that's how it should be ran personally. Yeah. And I feel like a lot yeah. of the times nowadays, it's not like that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Also, I, I didn't realize this Jay Valai prior to this year. Uh, he did serve as the cornerbacks coach at Texas in 2020 and at Rutgers in 2019. And in 2018, he was with the Kansas City Chiefs in the NFL in a defensive quality control role and as an assistant defensive backs coach. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. See, I knew about Kansas City. I knew about Rutgers, but I didn't know about Texas. Oh, and one more. He was a defensive quality <laughs> control assistant at Georgia in 2016 and 17. Okay, that's good. So this dude has had a ton of experience. He's talked to a bunch of different guys. So he exactly. should know how to instill a really, really solid system. For sure. So For that's, sure. that's really exciting. Uh, let's see. Oh, one other thing that we can talk about as well is Jaden Knowles. Congrats to Jaden Knowles, right? He got this KLC05 uh, meteorology internship. So oh, yeah? That's pretty awesome. Weatherman <laughs> Jay is going to be a, officially a Weatherman intern. He's what? growing up on us, Colton. That's so cool. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> I, I thought that was awesome. I look forward to hopefully being able to see him on air and stuff like that occasionally at least. Yeah. We'll see, but... Well, a lot of rumors floating around right now. A ton of rumors. What kind of uh, rumors do you got? Talking about potentially two defensive back, um, two defensive backs that are in the transfer portal that are thinking about uh, doing a visit. I believe is what I'm what I'm hearing so far on Twitter, huh. and then uh, as well as you know the Jackson Dart and Michael Trigg move, which yeah, I feel like. 
I don't know. They're pretty they're pretty highly touted dudes. They're they've got a lot of solid potential. I feel mm-hmm. like there's going to be a ton of schools that are out there and interested, but so far it seems like Oklahoma is really kind of the only group that's kind of reached out to them or at least that they've been proud enough to post about at least, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like they've got Michael Trigg has posted multiple videos at this point of him and Jackson Dart in a in Oklahoma Unis, you know, uh, spinning the football around, just I mean, really badass beat roll, really cool videos. We're, yeah. they're, we're the only school that, that yeah. they posted, so well, that's a win and, right now. And they were both freshmen, you know, this past season. There's so much time and room for growth for these dudes. Like, I, I will, I will grab them up in a heartbeat if they want to come to Oklahoma. Oh, absolutely, Personally. dude. Especially the tight end, right? Like Trig. Oh, dude. Like, yeah, I would love to have Jackson Dart as well. I think he'd be a great addition to our quarterback depth, like I've said already. But Trig, Trig should be someone that we are like, okay, if we have to get an NIL deal going, like whatever we need, let's do it. Let's get it right. out there. Let's get everything going. Let's get our ducks in a row so we can land this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he would be a very, very valuable asset. But at this point, Colton – our offense looks goaded. Yeah. Our defense looks like they're going to be goaded. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're going to have a very, very young defense. Mm-hmm. But I don't care how young you are. If if you've got Schmitty as your strength and conditioning <laughs> coach working you out, bro, you're going to be a damn veteran by the time season starts, right? That's inevitable. Yeah. Everyone's all, all sure. of the former players are already calling it out. Like these dudes are going to be ready to go come season. So everybody's going to be jacked with like a 20 pack like yeah. on their oh my god dude if y'all don't look like brock lesnar come the season opener then <laughs> yeah Schmitty's going soft <laughs> yeah oh, dude that'd man. be crazy can you imagine just like lining up to just a bunch of just brock lesnar just carbon copy yeah. brock lesnar's having brought like seeing brock lesnar run like a 4 2 40 dude that'd be so fucking insane oh dude that would be absolutely wild oh another thing actually another quarterback that came and did an official visit was uh i don't know how you say his name chuba or chuba purdy brock purdy's brother really actually visiting he actually visited a couple days ago a day ago two days ago something like that um i hadn't even heard of that yeah dude and he's pretty solid i think he's at florida state currently yeah Um, but yep. he's looking he's looking for different destinations and that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I see on here <laughs> he publicly thanked Coach Venables and the Oklahoma staff for an amazing visit um just two days ago. I hadn't even heard of that, but that that would be interesting. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, ton of potential like QB right now. So there's nothing to be worried about with Caleb Williams, right? Not only do we have Micah Bowens, but we've also got Ralph Rucker, <laughs> uh, we Get have potentially Jackson Dart, potentially, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Chuba, uh, Chuba Purdy, and we've got Dylan Gabriel already, so we're fine, guys. We don't, yeah, yeah Caleb Williams would be nice considering that Caleb Williams was already showing extreme poise and it just... Extreme discipline already, straight out the gate for a true freshman season, right? All right. Um, but we're we're going to be fine. We're good. There's nothing oh, to worry yeah. about there. Our quarterback situation is going to be fine. Just it almost seems not real at this point, Colton, that we went from being balls to the wall about offensive players to next year probably having multiple five star defensive lineman committed mm-hmm. to the University of Oklahoma. Yeah. Everything That's seems wild. Everything seems to have happened in a flash, like from Lincoln leaving to us being scared for the future of Oklahoma's football program to now, like, I have so much confidence in this unit going into next season. It's not even funny. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And like I said, guys, I've already said it six or seven times. I don't care if – we're not even good. Like yeah. if we are consistently bad or consistently good, I'm fine with that. You know, if both sides of the ball go out there and play consistently throughout the season, yeah. that's a win in my book. I don't expect Rome wasn't built in a day. I don't expect Brent Venables to build a national championship team 
caliber team in a season, considering the man literally had what two, three weeks to recruit right. for the 2022 class, and we still managed to land a top ten recruiting class. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely nuts. So as long as we're consistent, you're cool with like going winless or. Uh, so not winless, right? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm okay with being like I'm. I'm saying I. I would be perfectly fine with a five or six win season. Yeah. Seriously, and I know that sounds. It would harsh. be understandable. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I know that sounds harsh. That sounds terrible, right? But if we are consistently showing improvement defensively, and we're looking like a complete offense. You know, maybe not fully complete, but look like we're getting there and we're on the right track. Dude, that's more yeah. than anything that I could ask for. I just for sure. I want to be – I want people to look at Oklahoma and know what they're going to get, not look at Oklahoma and go, okay, well, they're either going to hold West Virginia to 13 points or it's going to be a shootout, right. one of the two. You know, I'm so tired of that narrative. I want – I want consistency. I want I want I want to consistently dominate on both sides of the football. That's what I want. Yeah. And I think Venables and Levy and Bates and everyone surrounding the Oklahoma Sooners, I think they can do it. Yeah. I agree. A hundred percent. What's your what would you grade all these coaching hires, Colton? Like if you had to give like a an A through an F, what would you give them? Like as an overall unit now? Yeah, as an overall unit, considering that everything's basically – every position's basically taken at this point. I mean, at, you know, towards the start of our recor- recording, as I've already, like, praised every single coach we have now, I would definitely <laughs> give an A-plus, like, all an around the board, man. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm going with as well. I don't know – what other guy out there could you have possibly seen coming to Oklahoma as a head coach? to fill the head right. coaching vacancy. Like, do, it, does any name come to your mind at all, Colton? No. Li- like, literally, I, cu- I couldn't think of – before Brent Venables was hired, I couldn't think of one single person. And even – I'm going to be honest. The day that it was leaked that Brent Venables was going to end up being the guy, I was still like, hmm, I was thinking on it. The the day the day after, after his official and stuff, after I got like a night's sleep on it, like there's not one single person on earth that I would have in Brent Venable's spot besides him. Yeah, that's that's kind of where I am. Um I think if I had to give a letter grade, I would say nobody's perfect, so I'm gonna oh, go yeah. ahead and I'm gonna give it a A minus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know who else you could put in there. I think the only other person that would have been better than Venables would Nick Saban. I mean, yeah. who who else are you going to possibly throw in there? You know, like Dan Lanning would have been really, really wild mm-hmm. and I would have been okay with it. But Venables is a fail safe. Like, yeah, like a, we know this is going to be a good hire, right? We've seen the outstanding relationship he builds with his recruits. Yeah, the relationships he builds with his former players, you know, how much the players that have moved on and gone to the NFL, we've seen how how they like him. You know, they really right. enjoy him. They they love the guy to death. Uh, tweeting at him, you know, telling Oklahoma how lucky they are. Even the Clemson fan base is like, hey, y'all better enjoy that dude because we would do anything to have him back. Right. Uh, so that's that pretty much says it all there. So I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go a solid A minus. In nice. the nicest way possible. <laughs> yeah. What would you what what's our preseason ranking, Colton? Our way, oh. way, way too early ranking for the Oklahoma Sooners. What do you got, bro? <laughs> now, okay. This, this is gonna see if this is gonna prove if you've been being honest, right? Talking about this A. <laughs> okay. If I'm gonna be honest, man. I, to start the season, just, okay, based off who, who we've lost and who we've gained, the the new coaching staff, man, <laughs> I could definitely see them starting out the season at, like, a solid, like, if I'm doing it, man, oh, God, it's so tough. I'm it's a, really I'm a tough. Of, just to be safe, I'm a slap dad in the middle, 
like 14, 15 is where I would start. Dang. From okay. So you're putting them deep. Oh yeah. Okay. See, I wasn't expecting that. Right. I would say if I had to put them anywhere, I would put them at like anywhere from ninth to like 11th. Yeah. I feel like that's solid, but I mean, and I don't feel like your rankings too far off either, whether we like it or not, it's still a brand new coaching staff. I'm playing it safe and we're going to have a lot of new players, you know, and I don't know. Yeah, we are. But you also got to think about it too, right? We've got the best defensive coordinator potentially, you know, in the country uh, as our head coach now. So mm-hmm. our defense is going to be fine. We've got the best offensive coordinator right now that I could possibly think of. If you guys can name a better one, please let us know. Let us know what you guys think as well on all of this. We want to know your opinion down in the comments. But uh got the best OC as well. <sighs> How can we not be fine? You know what I'm saying? Unless unless we unless there is some more Lincoln Riley crap, right? That goes on, which I know we're tired of hearing that dude's name. But unless there's some weird stuff going on with the coaching staff in the middle of the season, like we experienced that has been confirmed now, uh, like last season, how can we possibly go wrong? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of my thought process. When I was thinking on it, man, it's just so tough (laughs) because it can go one way or another and it understandably so, you know, and I, I feel like, I don't know. My my pig's definitely just playing it safe just because it's Yeah, me too. I don't and I wanna... mean I like a low ranking. Honestly. Yeah. Like I, I would much rather prove ourselves than people go, Oh yeah, they they made some really home run staff hires. They've got a really nice transfer quarterback in Dylan Gabriel. We're gonna go ahead and put them at fifth. Like I I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but I agree. It is what it is. Um uh, Other than that, Colton, you got anything else? Nothing. All right, guys. I guess that's going to go ahead and conclude it. We're going to go ahead, and for those of you that have watched it to this portion, uh, giveaway details, again, you've got to subscribe. Uh, And then once you're subscribed, comment down below. Let us know that you are subscribed. Uh, And then I guess we can let this one do about like we did on the last one, you know, wait about a week and then give the giveaway away. And this is for the drawing, actually. I don't know if you guys can see Glenn. I'm so sorry. I have not gotten a chance to get your uh, signed Sterling Shepard helmet sent to you. I've been absolutely, like, stupidly busy, guys. I promise you. I'm going to get it mailed out to you, Glenn. (laughs) I promise. Uh, But, no, make sure that you guys are putting down below that you're subscribed if you are subscribed. Uh, And then your name will be entered in. And then in a week, hopefully you'll be getting a custom drawing. So there you go. Anything else, Colton? (laughs) You good to go? No, I'm good, man. All right, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We love you. We'll leave you. Boomer.